Hi guys, and welcome back to Scale Motor. So today, um, we're going to be looking through a package which I received um, from a company in Italy, a company called GBmodels.it. Um, I first seen them on Instagram, and that's where I saw this detail set. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a really good looking detail set. Um, I purchased it, it's for the Tamiya Ducati Superbike Racer, the 888. Um, so yeah, um, I spotted it, it looked really, really good. Um, so I thought, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to have to get that. Um, and it's something I'm gonna look at video building uh, in the near future, hopefully. Um, I've got a couple of bits and bobs um, I'm thinking about building next, so we'll see. But today we're just gonna take a look through the box. It's two different detail sets, um, got a part A and a part B. So we're going to take a look through both of them, and I've also got some decals I got from GB Models. Um, but yeah, so let's just dive in and take a look. So, <clears throat> these guys came to the post today from GB Models in Italy. I've been looking forward to these for a while. I spotted them shortly after... Well, I spotted them a while ago and decided that I really, really wanted them shortly after purchasing the kit. So, I was looking for another bike to build um, and I wanted a detail set. And all the top studio detail sets and things, they, they're getting pretty sparse on some of the bikes um, for the subject matter. Uh, so, Spotted this. I haven't built a Ducati yet. Really fancy building this. So I decided to get these. Um, so like I said, they're from GB Models uh, in Italy. Um, I spotted these originally on Instagram. because I started following them on Instagram. And I thought, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely something I'm going to build. Um, so these... Are the two detail sets you can get for the um, the Tamiya Superbike Racer, the 888. Um, and this is a kind of general sheet of, of decals for various different bikes. But the great thing about it is you've got loads of like little battery logos and, and exhaust logos and stuff. But you've got all the... Well, you can't see it here really because they're quite light is uh, they're all the little writing and stuff you'll get on the switch gear and the the controls on your handlebars which you don't normally get in kits um so yeah this is this is really cool they've got some various ones which could probably be used across loads of different kits but a lot of them are bike specific which again is really cool um because with generic ones, you don't have to. With generic ones, if you're trying to build a specific bike, you're going to end up kind of being, kind of settling. But these are specific. Uh, but first things first, first thing we're going to go into is the detail set. Um, I've opened the boxes, um, as you can see. I haven't opened this one yet. I've had a quick rifle through. But I haven't, uh, I haven't had a look in great detail. So first thing we're gonna look at is this nice little box um, for the detail upset. Um, there we go, got some details as what kit is for. The same on the other side. Really, really eager to take a proper look. Um, so apologies for the audio because I'm, I'm recording this directly from my camera just to get kind of first impression. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so we've got an instruction sheet. We'll take a look at that last. And then we've got lots of little bits and bobs in sealy bags. Some decals, lovely, and some photo etch. Brilliant. So first things first, I'm going to take a look at the bits, the way they come out, so I can put them back in. 
This is the only problem with recording it live. It's that uh, I spent 20 minutes opening things and um, let's have a look. I can't cut it out because I'm talking. That's haha. <laughs> okay. Some good looking photo etch. That's nice and thin. I like that. I like that. Some photo etch can be really, really thick and it just kind of looks out of place. Some bits are thick, but I think the proper you know the the bits you want to be thick are thick, and the bits you want to be thin are quite thin. Um, do I want to keep that? Nah, I'm just wipe them out in the box. Um, okay, so first up, we've got some bolt heads. Um, always cool. Can never have too many full to edge bolt heads. Lovely jubbly. Um, what we've got here is various different bits of bobs. We've got some bolt heads. Um, I think these are bezels for the the clocks, um, the tack, and then we've got these nice little um, lids for the um, oh. they're lids for the. Reservoirs, so for the front rear brake, and I'm guessing it's got a hydraulic clutch, which is why there's there's three. Um, and some more bolt heads. They're a little thinner than the others, but that's not a problem at all. More bolt heads, lovely. Like I said, you can never have too many. There we go. We got Brembo logos for the calipers. I'm guessing these are brake pads. That's what they look like to me. That's cool. Um, we've got these, which I know are kind of like the the clock assembly. Um, you've got two different options. Uh, so for the round dials and the more kind of retro square dials. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. We will see. And then last up, um, guessing fuel caps. Or something. The instructions will tell us. Um, but then we've got more. Bolt heads again. Can never have too many. Love it. Some decals. Two little decal sheets here. Um, wow, that's intricate. I have no idea what they are. Buttons, maybe. We'll see. Um, tire decals, lovely. Some carbon for the clock assembly. Some nice um, thingy majiggies clocks. Um, and then just various other logos, got some Brembo logos and stuff for the photo etch there. There we go, lovely. That's something I'd like to see kind of more detail sets come with is, is extra decals. Um, because it's a really, really cool addition. Um, because you've got all these new parts uh, for your model, and you've got to, you know, you've got to paint them or print your own decals or buy aftermarket. So it'd, it'd be nice if more detail sets did actually come with decals. Uh, okay, and here we got some nice bolts. Um, a uh, little rod, brass rod. Again, not sure what that's for. We'll find out. Um, and some reservoirs. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. These reservoirs are fluid reservoirs and they are actually semi clear, which is lovely. Didn't have to try and um, replicate the effect of clear reservoirs because they are clear. Brilliant. Absolutely love that. Love that. Sorry about the state on my hands. I've been weathering the YZR YZFR1 build, which I'm currently doing. I've been using the Ultimate Pigments and I've been using the black and it's, it's so, so fine. It's really, really good. The only problem is once it gets on stuff, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, 
to get off. But that's fine, just don't spill it. Just put a piece of paper down. Job done. Uh, anyway. Got some acetate, or just some clear, clear plastic in this bag. I'm guessing that's going to be for the clocks, just to give a little screen, which is great. Um, some white metal parts in here and some cast resin. Um, I'm guessing that's a... I think that's a tank part for the tank. We've got loads of little white metal bolt heads uh, in there. And top yoke. Um, I'm guessing that's going to be more detailed in the kit. I haven't, I haven't actually looked in the kit, or maybe they've moulded their own out of white metal for these, so they can fit their own forks. Uh, so we've got two, three parts in here. Sorry, we've got this top part, which I think is going to be the, the part protruding out of the top of the forks. With your adjusters on, um, we've got your main forks, and then your stanchions. Um, so lovely, and that's what I love about this. So, um, when I asked how much it was for both sets, I think it was, I think he said it was 80 or 85 euros. Um, I'll double check and I'll put it on the screen um, for both sets, which is great when you think about it because a fork set. Um, for some of the older kits, um, which is hard, which are harder to find now, a fork set you'd be paying about forty pounds for a fork set, um, just by itself without all this kind of extra stuff. Um, and the great thing is, there's extra extra stuff which we look at in the second detail set. But that was for both um, detail sets. Okay, uh, here's some instructions. Yep, there we've got some acetate, we've got the resin bit, we've got all these little white metal bits. Ah, that's what they are, of course. Yes, there we go. Glossed over them, didn't I? So those are just parts for the top of the fork. And some nice clear instructions uh, showing you what it is we're looking to do. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing that the, the star just means cut it off. Um, it's quite easy um, to see, um, kind of assume what everything means. And we've got there, diameter, one, milli one millimeter diameter hole. That is gonna just, looks like it's showing us what to cut off. Perfect, like I said, easy to follow. Um, that's probably for that symbol probably symbolizes you can pick one, um, one or the other. Lords, little bits and bobs. Um, they look like it'll be quite easy to follow. I'm guessing the star means photo etch, maybe. Not too sure. Um, ah, star's original parts. Arrows removed where indicated. Drill. Make your choice. Pay attention on positioning. Lovely. Should have checked that first. But yeah, we got loads of little details to add. That's going to be really exciting. Can't wait to build this. Second little detail set. Not in a box this time, but still it looks very detailed. Feels quite substantial. Um, let's have a look. Open sesame. Yeah. Aha! How am I meant to build this if I can't even get it out of the bag? I don't have any faith in myself. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's loads of four directions. There's quite a lot in here again. So first we're going to go through... Oh, fourth direction, like that. Raised. Feels really nice. That's cool. I'm gonna use that in my videos. Take photos. Lovely, jubbly. Um, okay. Lots more photo etch. Lovely. Let's find where this is wrapped from. Bloody hell. Ah, 
<laughs> cell tape on a swing, that's right. Oh no, it's not. I'm just a moron. Photo Edge City. Do like working with Photo Edge. Wow. Craig, I can't even open it. That's some really good cling, cling, cling film, it doesn't rip. <laughs> this doesn't bode well for the build, does it? Honestly, if this is the first video of mine you're watching, please don't worry, I can actually open things. My 40 minute videos are not just 40 minutes of me trying to open the box of a kit. I promise. Aha! Okay. Right. Okay. Lovely. Chain links. No bolt heads. Hose clamps. Another piece for our our clocks. Lovely jubbly. And a chain. Lovely. And it's not too thick. I like how thin it is. And these are going to be for our radiators and our oil coolers. So more bolt heads. Lovely. Okay, uh, brakes and sprockets. Brake discs. What's cool with this kit, what I really like, um, is for the brake discs, because they're actually, I, I think they're carbon ceramic or, or something on the actual bike, um, you get decals for the brake discs. Um, we'll have a closer look at those shortly. Um, but yeah, there's loads more bolt heads, more brake parts and sprocket parts. Again, lovely, and that's substantial. It's nice and thick compared to the chain. Um, so I like that they're not just using kind of one thickness of photo etch. Oh, again, some more thin parts. Guessing these are going to be for the exhausts. Uh, more bolt heads, exhaust bits and bobs. Not certain where these are, but we'll find out. Um, they're going to be pieces for the engine. More brake pads. Ducati logos. Lovely. Some nice detailed parts. Oh, I really cannot wait to build this. Um, again, more bolt heads and these bits and bobs. Um, again, not sure where they are, but we will find out. I think that's for the rear caliper. Um, yeah, it looks good. Looks really good. Nothing's deformed, nothing's missing, nothing got broken in transit. Um, this bag I'm not going to open because I will lose every single one of these. But these are the rollers for our chain. Um, I guess it goes together very similar to the way the Hobby Design chain goes together. I've got a video about the Hobby Design chain, but I think it was my first video. Um, it wasn't great, so this video will be better. Um, small white metal parts, looks like it's going to be just a little bit of cleanup to do on them, but uh, yeah, again, not certain what these actual parts are, but uh, we will find out. Um, next up is the decals, so we're just going to take a look at that. Um, carbon ceramic decaling and I've seen photos and it does look really really well um, I don't know how well it's going to come across in the video um, but I'm trying to take a photo and again the rear brake disc looks very 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 similar to the real real deal um, more 
tire decals. Um, so they, these are two separate kits. Um, so there might be a little overlap in, in the parts uh, looking at it. But that's fine because I like spares. Um, and I can use them on on later builds. Um, again, a bit more acetate. Lovely jubbly. And last up, we've got our instruction booklet. Nice little fold out, Tamir esque. Um, okay, so we've got details of our white metal parts, our aluminium parts, um, 115 of them, lovely. Resin parts. That's in the first one. That's fine. That's fine. Um, ah, yes, that's what the cogs were for. That was one of the main reasons I uh, I wanted this kit was for the cogs um, and the bits and bobs on the actual timing um, timing belts on the engine. Um, yeah, so there's loads of uh, cool little details for the engine. Um, these are these go inside the top of the carburetors. So again, a lot more detail than the original kit parts. Um, the clutch, ah, that's what those were for. They were clutch plates. Lovely. Yeah, it looks really, really, really cool. Um, Those sprocket bits and bobs, and then chain assembling. Super simple. Um, I don't know if you've ever used the hobby design ones, um, or or even built one of these because um, I have seen one or two people build them on Instagram. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. You've just got the main part. Um, you glue in your your rollers. Then this main part, which is like the back plate, and then you've got all the individual plate links, which pop over the top. Um, and it does look really, really realistic because it is pretty much how it's done. Um, you know? But yeah, uh, front carbon disc, all your details here, a couple of bits and bobs on fairing. Lovely. Jubbly. Uh, looks like with this kit, this detail set, there's nothing really you, you cut off. Um, you just add in bits, which is cool. Um, so if you're not comfortable cutting bits of the kit off, then go for this one. It is, I mean, you could go for either. Um, they're both very nicely detailed. Um, and they're both substantial detail kits, especially for the price. Um, it's a substantial amount of stuff. I mean, like, you've got a fork set, a chain set, photo etch set, you've got some decals. I mean, all in, that's, that's quite a lot of detail you can add to the model. So, yeah, I am actually thrilled. Um, with this, I mean, I've seen photos, I kind of knew what it looked like, but to actually have it in your hands and see exactly what it is and how detailed bits are going to be, I am very eager to build this now. Um, yeah, excellent, excellent. So this is set A and this is set B. Okay, so set B is, uh, for anyone who's interested, is the one with the forks. Um, and set A is the one with the chain. Set A has got a lot more photo etch um, than set B, but set B has got some nice turned metal forks. Um, if I'm honest, I'd say get both. Um, it's a great deal. I don't know their prices separately, but... To get, I'd, I'd get both, to be honest. Um, it's a great price, I think. Yeah, lovely, jubbly. 
well looking forward to that. Now, um, I can't really put this back in the bag. I struggled enough getting the thing out the first time. I'm going to mince it the second time. But I, like I said, I'm, I'm keeping this. I'm going to use that to take photos on when I do the build. Uh, I will have a quick look at through this while we're here. Have a quick look at the decals. May as well. Uh, again, this is from GB Models. I'm not quite sure of the price of this. Um, I have to double check with uh, Christian over at GB Models. Um, but... Yeah, we'll just, we will we'll take this card out. Again, cool bit of card. I'm sad because I like card, but it's nice and thick. It's got some raised detail on it. That'll also be used for taking photos. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay, so. Ah, nice. So it doesn't, so the clear piece doesn't slide about. Nice. So there's some really, really nice decals on here. Um, they've got the time your kit numbers uh, for what they correspond to. Um, if you know your kit, though, um, you, you probably tell. Um, opposed piston. There yeah, are, M4 for you. Um, got loads of battery decals, some Ducati decals. The time your 14063. No, that's not, is it? That's not what we're building now. That's not the... You know? It's not the Superbike Racer, is it? Oh, well. Shush. Doesn't matter. At this particular moment in time. Um, yeah, so you've got, like, all, all the decals from the... Um, for the writing on the switch gear. Um... And the kind of indicators, your horn buttons. Um, yes, yeah, just a cool little little set to have. Because even if you're not going to build like that one, there's going to be some decals there which you can use on other builds. Um, and there we go. And we've got a various section. So that's just got loads of random little bits and bobs. It's going to take a little to work out what they are but we've got here you can find all the instructions and images on GB models at IT or scan the QR code there we are so I'm guessing you'll find all info about what these are if they are a bit small for you to see on GB models IT excellent lovely well happy with that um, so what I'm going to do now is hopefully I'm going to see if this photo etch, I'm probably going to regret this because I haven't had a proper look through the instructions, that's not going to fit in there is it oh, might be alright that. Um, I haven't had a proper look through the instructions so I don't know if this is going to end up confusing me if we might have parts the same. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to whack all this in there. Um, we got all our stuff. I'm just going to keep the photo etch together. Just in case I lose or break it, which is definitely something I would do because I'm that type of person. Okay, so a box of PE. Lovely jubbly. We've got these decals, which hindsight, I uh, probably should have put them in there on photo etch. Nah, we'll be fine. Um, okay, instructions. Lovely jubbly. Now, all these little baggies of bits and bobs, and this cool piece of card. Stop talking about the card, and this one. Um, we're going to just whack them in the Tamiya box. Great would be if kits came with all this kind of extra detail upset. I know it wouldn't be great for GB models, <laughs> but it'd be cool. 
the thing is, I think these companies like GB Models um, and Top Studio and Hobby Design, they'll always find that little bit extra. Um, um, yeah, they'll always find that something else to detail part of it. Like, with this, I wasn't actually... I didn't really want to build that kit. Uh, it didn't really grab my attention. I'm a massive fan of Ducatis. But um, seeing this detail set made me really, really want to build it. So thank you, GB Models. Ah, you know what? They can go down as well. So there we are. Um, yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, like I said, I, I wasn't planning on building this Ducati bike anytime soon. I'm not a massive fan of the Ducati bikes. Um, I know, blasphemy. But um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, and then I saw the detail set on Instagram and I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to build that now because I want to use that detail set. Um, as you've seen it, it looks really, really, really good. I'll put details in the description uh, so you guys can get in touch to order should you want to. Um, yeah, so we may be building that next. Not sure. I've got other things which I'm uh, I'm thinking of building. Um, I'm currently at a stage where my stash is a bit bigger than I'm used to. Um, I've only got six or seven unbuilt kits, <laughs> but still that's big for me and I'm not sure what I want to do next. The majority of them are cars. I think I might go for a car next and keep up the kind of car, bike, car, bike, car, bike thing that I'm doing. Um, I might pop a poll up on Instagram and my Facebook account just to see what you guys would want to see next. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Links are going to be down in the description. Um, but yeah, I need help deciding what I'm going to build next. Um, and who knows, it could even be this. But I, I think I'm, I'm going to try and stick with the car next. But yeah, so this, I'm, I'm super happy with the detail set. Um, detail sets, rather. And the decals as well. The decals are really great and I can use them in various other builds. Um, but yeah, um, I'm quite, quite happy with uh, with that. Um, I'm looking forward to, to building it. Yeah, so I, I can't wait to actually build it. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I don't know, like I said, I'm not sure when it's going to be. I've got a potential commission coming up. I really want to build a car. There's some weathering bits and bobs I want to try out. Um, I've got a cool car, which I got from Paul over at ISM uh, with a nice detail set, which I really want to build. But then there's also lots of things I want to 3D print for it. So that might take uh, a little while, um, just designing bits and bobs. But we'll see. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Uh, the next video is going to be, I'm not sure when, but it's going to be building up the front end. Um, I'm just throwing craft knives over the place. Is building up the front end of the YZFR1. Um, we've got the forks done, we've got the front wheel on. We've got the tubing done and we've got quite a bit of weathering done. I'm looking at it down there now. Uh, but that'll be the next video and I'll, uh, I'll catch you for that. But in the meantime, have a great day and stay safe.